Kevin Mitnick is known as the king of all hackers. With aliases like the Condor and the Dark Side Hacker, Mitnick's ploys stem back to his youth in the late 70s, where he began taking advantage of the system by tricking the Los Angeles bus transfer system to get free rides. As he aged, Mitnick found his gift for code and began hacking into big name companies like Nokia, Motorola, IBM, and eventually, the Pentagon. Millions of dollars of information passed through his hands before he was finally arrested in 1995. Hardly deterred, Mitnick went on the run from the FBI for three years and was the most wanted computer criminal of his time before he was sentenced to four more years in jail. Mitnick didn't consider what he was doing as hacking and referred to it politely as social engineering. At one point, a judge found him so threatening that he placed him in solitary confinement because he thought Mitnick could start a nuclear war by whistling codes into a payphone. The dangerous British hacking duo of Matthew Bevan and Richard Price took the world for a potentially deadly ride for several weeks in their youth back in 1994. They began by attacking the Pentagon's network for several weeks and progressed further by stealing battlefield simulations. If that wasn't enough, they started intercepting messages from US agents stationed in North Korea and accessed sensitive material from a Korean nuclear facility. This was all incredibly alarming to the US because at the time, Time, Price and Bevan were using U.S. systems to infiltrate information from Korean systems, which, simply put, nearly sparked an international incident. You've probably heard about the infamous hacktivist group, Anonymous, or just Anon. Sprouting back in 2003 from the breeding grounds of 4chan, Anonymous consists of an unspecified number of politically active hackers. They campaign for internet freedom, social justice, and transparency in the law. With nothing off limits, this group has hit the Chinese government, the Vatican, the FBI, and CIA, while spending just as much time leaking documents or taking down websites with political intent. During in the aftermath of tragedies like Charlie Hedbo, Michael Brown, and launching large-scale personal attacks on individuals associated with the KKK. While they may not be monetarily motivated, the information they've leaked and the impact they've had on cases and cover-ups has been huge. Little is known about Astra, which is the net alias of this notorious hacker who spent half a decade in the mid-2000s stealing high-profile weapons technology data and software. Astra would quickly sell this information to people and organizations across Brazil, South Africa, the Middle East, and the rest of the world. While no one knows how much money he was able to make or where it went, the damages he caused are estimated between $250 and $361 million. Strangely, even after all of the destruction caused. Astra was never publicly identified, even when Greek authorities arrested and detained this threatening hacker in 2008. Speculations and rumors say that he is a 58-year-old Greek mathematician and is serving six years in jail. Somewhere. Gary McKinnon infiltrated over 97 U.S. military and NASA servers in just a year during 2001. He deleted sensitive data, software, and files that cost the U.S. government $700,000 in recovery charges due to the severity of the damage. Confident in his skills, McKinnon, who went by the alias Solo, taunted the military by posting, Your security system is crap. I am Solo. I will continue to disrupt at the highest levels. Strangely enough, McKinnon wasn't in it for any kind of monetary gain, and it turns out he was just looking for files containing evidence of extraterrestrial life, which, according to McKinnon, he found.